waist, thick legs in shape. Come on, rum shaking both ways and make you do a double take. What's up guys my name is Naya Amani and welcome back to my channel um as you see by the title today's video is going to be like a simple kind of everyday makeup routine for you know problematic acne prone skin um I showed y'all a little bit in the clip but I do have some hyperpigmentation on this cheek that was covered by this makeup look as well as some on my forehead and just a few breakouts here and there nothing too crazy y'all know how my skin is it fluctuates sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but all in all my cystic acne is not out of control at the moment I feel like I'm in the right like vitamin regimen that it's keeping it at bay and it's you know helping me healing me from the inside and out so stay tuned if you want to see this makeup look and don't forget to watch all the way to the end so you see the back on business that shot up for the day all right see you guys later <laughs> all right guys so this is the hyperpigmentation i was talking about so i have a few spots on my cheeks and a few spots on my forehead but i am just going to go in with this makeup forever skin equalizer primer and i'm gonna rub that all over my face and then i'm gonna go in with the elf poreless putty primer and do that as like a top coat primer um i really like that because i feel like it really just makes a nice base um and you're supposed to let that like set in for at least 15 seconds before going in with your next product which is going to be my la pro girl concealer as a spot treatment not a spot treatment but like a spot conceal <laughs> So I really just put that anywhere where I have anywhere that I have like any dark marks, any hyperpigmentation. I try not to put a whole lot, but y'all will see after I'm done this step and the step with like the under eye concealer that, you know, my it really already sets you up for the foundation. So you don't need too much foundation. But because I was using a new foundation and I wasn't used to it, I kind of put too much. But don't worry, we fixed it towards the end of the video <laughs> You could use either a sponge or a brush for this step. Um, I just used my sponge because I had it near me, but this was the Real Techniques um, beauty sponge. I don't know if I said it, but I um, use the e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer for my under eye and i'm going in with the flawless stain foundation in the color coco same by elf as my foundation so here you're gonna see me like i put way too much because i was trying to see if it matched first and it it kind of matches my skin and but the undertones are a little off i think it just has like a really peanut butter type of look to it and i guess maybe my skin color is like a peanut butter ish color but I don't know i just put way too much on my face i probably should have used a brush to blend it out a little better but we just blend 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 until it starts looking normal <laughs> And y'all don't even look at my baby hairs right now it's been a long day but i fixed them at the end of the video and yeah don't even don't look at it <laughs> Now I'm going in with the Hydro Camo Concealer, same from e.l.f., but just a little bit lighter. I'll have all these products in the description box below, and I'm just putting a little bit to brighten up my under eye and um, 
to brighten up like the high points of my face because that other concealer from e.l.f. really is super close to my skin complexion and doesn't do anything for like a brightening effect. And then I'm just going to go in with that same sponge on the opposite side and blend that out. And now I really like this monochromatic multi-stick from e.l.f. I use it as a blush, but you could use it as, you know, eyeshadow, as a lip, as a blush, or like wherever you want a pop of color on your face for real. Um, it even works as kind of like a highlighter because it adds like a little sheen. But I just use the back of the, the Beauty Blender to blend that out. And I do this before I put any powder on my face since it is like cream based um i don't want to put it on top of powder so i just do this first and then i go in with my black opal um setting powder the same that i always use so i dab a little off on the back of my hand and then i just set anywhere that i put that brightening concealer I also set my smile lines because they tend to crease um, the first before anything else. And then this is just a foundation powder um, from, I believe, Neutrogena or L'Oreal. And I just use that to kind of set everything else, set the rest of my face um, everywhere where I did not put the black opal and I just used this cute little kabuki brush from elf to do that I just set all over my face and then I'm gonna start bronzing um, with the hula toasted by benefit and I actually love this product like ever since I got it I like I can't this is my favorite part of my makeup because it literally makes the makeup look like something like before it was looking like nothing but I'm just bringing it back to life and I love this product. I felt like it was the perfect warm shade for my skin complexion um, and it does exactly what it's supposed to do, period. Now I'm just going over the um, monochromatic color with this e.l.f. blush. I think it's called Always Rosy. And I just put a little bit on top of that. And I promise this video is not sponsored by e.l.f. I just love their products. And you know, this is my favorite. Um, it's the NYX uh, eyebrow pencil in the color black. I just use it to fill in my eyebrows because it's so simple and it's so precise. And literally, I just fill them in. And bounce I don't have to carve them out I don't have to do anything extra I literally just fill them in Now that my brows are filled out um, or filled in, I'm going to go in with like this brow setting gel from e.l.f. as well and just set my brows in place. The face is already coming together, y'all. The face already looks good. So now I'm just going back in with the Kabuki brush and the powder foundation and just making sure everything is all blended out and nothing has any harsh lines and everything's all matte together. I am going to spray my face with this coconut dewy mist setting spray from e.l.f. as well. This should really just be an e.l.f. Uh, makeup tutorial, but I'm going to spray it and I'm going to wipe my lips again and then I'm going to go in with a lip liner. So the lip liner that I used in the video is not my favorite. Um, my favorite is by NYX. It's the Club Hopper. It's like a dark brown lip liner, but this is what I had in front of me. So this is close enough. It's a little purple. I think the color was called like plum or something like that. 
but normally I would just go in with a dark brown and then put whatever lip color I wanted on top. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty, but you can go in with the clear lip gloss, you can go in with the pink, you can go in with anything else. And then this I've had since high school, literally the glow kit from Anastasia. I just used that to highlight. Um, you can see the dewy setting spray has me like glowing in specific areas. So I really just put the highlight exactly where I'm already glowing, nothing too crazy. And then I'm gonna put on my lip gloss. Alright guys, so this is the makeup look. This is the final product. This is it without any finishing touches. Um, basically, I had some new products like the e.l.f. Um, foundation. I wasn't really sure if it was going to match. At first, it looked a little intense, but I feel like we were able to dial it back a little bit once we went in with everything else. Y'all know I normally use the color... Um, Fenty, the Pro Filter Concealer in the color 445. But today I decided to try the e.l.f. in the color 540 Cocoa, the neutral undertones. Um, I showed it to you earlier. At first it was looking a little scary. I didn't know what was going to happen, but I think that it turned out okay. Um, I'm not sure if it has long wear. I'll definitely let you guys know though. But I feel like if we take it back, from when I first did like my welcome back video and I wasn't doing no type of makeup like I was really just doing foundation concealer eyebrows y'all now I'm doing concealer under eye concealer um, I'm doing a little bit of contour a little bit of highlight I'm doing a little bit of bronzing like I feel like I'm really expanding and it doesn't look bad in my opinion but y'all you know let me know what y'all think but nonetheless um don't forget to like comment subscribe share do all that good stuff and you know i gotta shout out my black owned business for the day so today's black owned business i'm gonna use this time to shout out my girl colleen um she's really dropped Mm. She's really thriving in the makeup, in the skincare, in the cosmetic industry. Um, so she was a makeup artist back when we were at Howard. And then she moved to Atlanta and became a makeup artist out here too. You know, doing her own thing, getting her grind on. The sun is trying to come out. Um, so I believe it's essential artistry. And then she came up with a cosmetic line or a skincare line that i definitely will put on the screen i'll just plug it right here on the side so definitely check her out she is bomb she did my makeup for my birthday you know she's done a lot of my friends makeup she was literally the plug when we were back in dc in maryland and she's just expanding and i love to see my friends you know thrive and reach higher heights so nonetheless check her out and i will see you guys in my next video Bye. I got a cute face, chubby waist, thick legs in shape. Come on, rump shaking both ways. Make you do a double take. Planet rock a show, stop a flow, crop a head, knock a beat, scholar, tail dropper. Do my thing, motherfucker. Sports Lamborghini.